Well, hi guys. Thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and I am here today with Brad Simpson of Simpson Limited. And uh, rumor has it you guys know a thing or two about Lugers. Yes, we do. Not that there isn't 10,000 of them on the back wall. Here. Yeah, we've got over 1,000 <laughs> in this room. Uh, so Lugers really are one of the specialties of your company. Correct. Yep. We, to our knowledge, we're the largest dealer in uh, collector Lugers in the world. Impressive. And as a result, you get a lot of questions about Lugers. Correct. And uh, you were telling me the most common question that you get is, how do I tell if my Luger is matching? Correct. Yeah, every Luger, um, virtually every part on a standard issue Luger, this one's from World War II, is numbered. And many of the numbers are uh, on the exterior, and many are on the interior. So in order to find all the, all the parts, uh, whether they're matching or not, you have to know how to take the gun apart and where to look. All right, well, why don't we run through that and uh, show people how to do it. Okay, great. So where do you start? Well, the obvious numbers, the, the number on the frame is on the front of the frame, and um, it's a, the full number with the suffix letter. And um, you also have the four-digit number on the bottom of the barrel. You've got it on the takedown lever, the side of the receiver, the side of the side plate. You can see the number here on the sear bar. Um, on the toggle links, you can you can see on the extractor on top, on the middle toggle link, on the, towards the back, towards the toggle, and then on the rear toggle link, you can see the number on the back. And of course, the magazines were numbered. This gun has both matching numbered magazines. As you can see, that's that's how they came originally with the gun. Very few guns have both uh, matching magazines remaining, and it actually more than doubles the value of the gun to have both matching mags. It's, it's very rare to find them that way. Mags were dropped in the field or mixed up with other guns. Sure, and they're all you know, interchangeable. So. Exactly. All right, so we need to take this apart to see some more numbers on the inside. The first thing you have to do to take the gun apart is to get this toggle against this ramp it's easy to just squeeze it like that. Right. Yep. So the takedown on this one is really super tight. So you're cheating there and using a tool, aren't you? Yeah. Usually they're lighter than this, but this one just happens to be a little bit stiff. One of the reasons why the Luger came with a takedown tool. Clever. So that if that's... Okay. And then once, once uh, the takedown lever is down, the side plate just pulls off. Okay. And you can see the number on the trigger is visible right in front of you and the toggle and the receiver and barrel just slide off the front. Next number you can see is the number on the toggle pin which will be on the left side showing. So you want to pull the toggle pin out. I'm getting serious with this, huh? Yep. And then the toggle assembly just slides right out the back. And the most common number on a Luger that's mismatched is the firing pin. Okay. Now you can use the takedown tool to take the firing pin out. You just twist it and it comes out. But you can actually see the number by just opening the hinge between the breech block and the middle toggle link. Oh, and the cool. number is visible right down in there. Okay. And that will be the last two digits of the overall serial. Number. Correct. The small parts have two digits. Um, the frame, the receiver, and the barrel have all four digits. The breech block, the number is on the left side. You can only see it when it's taken out of the receiver. Um, the middle toggle link and the rear toggle link, of course, those numbers are visible from the exterior. The number on the safety lever is right there on the top, and then when you engage the safety, the safety bar has the two-digit number right there. Another common part that is mismatched is the hold open, which the number is visible on top there when you have it open. Yep. And then the another commonly mismatched part is the grips. And there's a little bit of a secret to checking the grips because if you take off the right grip, or the left grip, I'm sorry, if you take off the left grip, you cannot see the number through the frame on the right grip. 
but if you take off the right grip, you can see the number through the frame on the left grip. So when I'm checking grips, I always just take off the right grip. With the screwdriver that is handily included with the gun. Yep. Yeah. Those clever Germans. And um, you can see the last two digits are large like that. Okay. Yep. And then you can see the other set of digits through the frame on the, on the left grip. So that was how to take down and find the numbers on a World War II Mauser Luger, which is pretty much like most of the others. But, of course, other variations, some of them have numbers in different places or have parts that are unnumbered, etc. Yep. So it's not universal for every Luger, but pretty typical. Okay. And the, the other two markings that we didn't talk about are the date on the top of the barrel. Correct. Which could, be, theory, on the chamber. could yep. be mistaken for a serial number. Correct. And the manufacturer's mark on the, the toggle itself. Correct. Which, which also could be mistaken as a... a correct. This is S42, which was a code for Mauser. Right. Um, you'll see BYF. Uh, sometimes you'll just see Mauser, Kragoff, DWM, or for, it depends. But during World War II, of course, the factories were within bombing range, and uh, they wanted to conceal who the manufacturer was so they didn't become a bombing target. Sure. Well, that makes sense. No one wants to become a bombing target. Correct. <laughs> Well, very cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something about uh, taking apart and authenticating your own Lugers. So if you are interested in, or if you're in the market for a cool collectible Luger, make sure to check out Simpson Limited, because as Brad said, they have quite a few here in the room and there's some pretty cool ones amongst them. So thanks for watching.